Okay, so, um, the first video of the month being recorded, and for some reason I'm starting on a Pokemon video. Um, so, Sword and Shield recently came out, and I absolutely love them. They're not my favourite being as hard on Soul Silver, they're still my favourite. Um, because they're very, firstly, there's heaps of nostalgia with them. Secondly, I absolutely love the fact that your Pokemon walk behind you and you have like just so many Pokemon and the changes with the shinies and all that, and that's another one, another thing that I love with uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, but there is one thing, one thing that is really annoying, and uh, um, that is trading and battling in, well, mostly just trading, but I haven't really done any battling yet because I haven't got a competitive team and I've and the only team I've even started building uh, right now is a, um, a little theme team, which you should hope hopefully see some at some point. But um, main, so let's just talk. So here's how you trade in Sword and Shield. You put in, the, you go to Link Trade, and then uh, uh, if you want to put trade with a specific person, that you go to um, you put a code in. And that, uh, that code, and then it will match up with anybody else with that same code. The problem here is that it's not just exclusive to people on your friends list. It's everybody in the world. Which is annoying because it's like, it can be hard to uh, find a code that only you and your friend are using. Now, it is a four digit code if I'm re remembering correctly. With a possible and the possible numbers are zero to nine, so um, I think you would just times ten by four. So there's at least forty different combinations, and there's probably a lot more than that. But I don't know how to uh, calculate how many different combinations or something there is. I did, that either they did teach me that in school, and I uh, used it so little that uh, I forgot about it. Well, they did, didn't teach me it at all. Anyway, um, so yeah, there were there were admittedly there are a lot of different combinations, but it's really just luck whether or not somebody else that uses the same combination as you. You, I've literally just used uh, different four, I think it's four or five different random numbers, and uh, I've got in there somebody completely random, which is annoying. Well. Well, they should. Have, that's not a bad way to do it because then, if you want to trade with somebody that's not on your friends list, um, you just like instead of adding their friend code, and then eventually filling up your friends list, and then eventually having to delete friends friends codes, you could just be like, okay, so I'm going to be using this password, um, so I'll just be waiting for you, and hopefully you don't get somebody else. But the way they should have done it is have that option, but have another option: trade with. Friends, and then it'll just give you a list of people who are on your friends lists that are online right now. Then you press A on them, and then it comes up in the in the bottom corner. You have a trade request or trade request or something, and then you can press and then they could press Y. It's like, oh, this person wants to trade with me. Accept on and out, and you can even block people. So um, if you didn't want to to receive friends requests from them again, you can block them or just delete their friend code. That's how they should have done it, but nope, that's not how they did it. Um, and I honestly do think that the X and Y and O as uh, um, is a uh, way of trading and battling is still better. Um, apart from the GTS, where you put the Pokemon up and then you see like people like asking. Uh, for like Arceus for an apple or something. Um oh, oh, and there's just so much mini hacks Pokemon and so on. Um uh, so yeah. Uh, it's it's not um, I don't care that GTS is gonna hardly ever use it anyway. Um it's, I but the fact that you can just send a trade request to your friend, I do miss that because it is just annoying. Uh, me just like Picking a random uh, set of numbers and then waiting for it to find your friend, then waiting for it to connect to your friend, 
then you're in the trade. It just takes too long. It, you, you, we need a streamlined version. Just like, let me send a trade request to people on my friends list that are playing uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield at that point in time. Please, seriously, it's annoying. Just, it's just bad. It's not. It's not. It does. It's not like it doesn't have its uh, positives. It does have its positives. Like I said. It doesn't mean you will always have to add a friend, pe person's friend code to your friends list and so on. But it at least gives me the option to send the, the trade request to my friends. Um, like seriously. Anyway, um, so that's going to be the end of this video. Just quick rant. Just about it's just about the only thing in Sword and Shield that I really don't like at all. I I haven't. I haven't like really looked at all the Pokemon designs, but even all the Pokemon designs, I don't think there's any that I really dislike. It's a bit like Generation 4, there are some that don't make too much of an impact on me, but there's none that I just go like, I really don't like that. There's none of those kind of Pokemon that makes me just not want them existing. Uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, see, I'll probably do a video about that. Anyway, see you guys in the next video, bye bye.